All right, so our upcoming weather pattern for Central North Carolina. We have a conditional risk for severe weather northeast of the triangle this evening. I'll go a little bit more into detail on that in a second. We have a chance for non-severe thunderstorms across some locations on Tuesday. Then we're looking at dry weather Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with a chance of showers and thunderstorms returning to the forecast for Saturday and Sunday. We'll have above normal temperatures every day until Sunday. Until then, we could end up having 90 degrees in some southern locations. The best days for that would end up being today, Tuesday, and Thursday. So taking a look at today's severe weather potential, we have the graphic that we typically end up showing in the upper left-hand corner, showing a risk of general thunderstorms for Greensboro, Chapel Hill, Durham, and Raleigh. If we end up looking in that darker green color across Henderson and Roanoke Rapids, that's where we're in a level one threat, a marginal risk for severe thunderstorms. And the site risk is just to the northeast of our forecast area. Now, the three other images end up showing the particular threats, tornado, wind, and hail. And I want to emphasize that we are not looking at any tornado threat today. We are primarily expecting that anything that would happen would be a wind or a hail severe weather potential. When we say that there's a conditional threat, it means that we're not sure that we're going to end up seeing showers or thunderstorms, but if they do occur, that they could end up being severe. There were several reports of severe weather across Pennsylvania last night with the front that will be dropping to the south. The shower and thunderstorm activity pretty much ended overnight into the morning hours, and so we aren't sure whether showers and thunderstorms are going to redevelop later on this afternoon into this evening. So that's the reason that we're calling it a conditional threat. The most likely time window that we would end up having any threat for severe weather would be between about 8 p.m. and midnight. And so the fact that it would end up being around sunset or after that is another reason that we would have limited potential for any sort of widespread severe weather. As we take a look at the accumulated precipitation forecast through the next five days, Again, you can end up seeing that the bulk of the precipitation will end up being over Virginia as opposed to over North Carolina. You can see some scattered precipitation shown across North Carolina on Tuesday. Our area should end up being dry Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So overall, during that five-day total, those uh, precipitation amounts would end up being relatively light across our area, no more than about a quarter of an inch. As we take a look at the severe thunderstorm potential over the next eight days, again, we've already gone over that severe weather outlook for today, with the primary risk of that being just to the northeast of our area across North Carolina and Virginia. Again, the general thunderstorm chance on Tuesday and also on Wednesday. However, we aren't seeing any severe thunderstorm risk locally over the rest of this period. As we take a look at the Weather Prediction Center's excessive rainfall outlook. We do not see any risk for flash flooding over the next three days. As we take a look at the experimental hazardous weather outlook, again, we've already outlined that risk, the general, uh, the marginal level one risk for today. And then you can see that there are portions of our forecast area that have a threat for thunderstorms Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. Taking a look at the eight to 14 day outlook courtesy of the Climate Prediction Center, you can end up seeing that we will generally have near normal temperatures over the next eight to 14 days, slightly below normal, uh, chance for slightly below normal temperatures closer to the North Carolina coast. When it comes to the precipitation outlook, most of our area looks like it will have at least some chance for below normal precipitation between April 22nd and 28th. And you can end up seeing our normal temperatures for this time of year at Greensboro, Raleigh, and Fayetteville, somewhere in the mid to upper 70s for the highs and lows typically in the low to mid 50s. Again, our summary is a conditional risk for severe weather northeast of the Triangle this evening, a chance for some non-severe thunderstorms in many locations Tuesday and to a smaller extent Wednesday, then a broader chance of showers and thunderstorms again Saturday and Sunday with a warm forecast through much of our forecast period.